in my my first business so i started a business over a decade ago a while ago i've been doing this for a while and um like most of us when we start a business i was really good at doing the thing that i did so i was um a high school dance and drama teacher and i created a dance education company and we delivered dance programs to different high schools and primary schools um, across Sydney, Australia. And so I was good at that. But then the business side, I had no idea. Yeah. I had <laughs> zero clue, didn't know what I was doing. Uh, so I was making it up as I went along. <laughs> you like from somewhere. Do. You just make it up as you go along and you just try different things. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And it's totally fine. That's totally fine. You're right. You've got to start for the busyness, the hard hustle, trying everything. Um, and either nothing would work or maybe one thing would kind of work, yeah. but I try and do it again. And, and, and then it didn't work for the second time. And yeah. so I was really, again, just super busy. And this was before I had kids, so I was single. I was in my early 20s and I was working 24 7. In fact, if I could work 25 7, I totally would have done that as well. Oh my God, and exhausting. I remember it's exhausting. It's exhausting. And sometimes in business, we do have to push ourselves. But those are like short bursts, right? We need to look at that as like little mini sprints, maybe a day or so where it's pretty chaotic and we've got to push ourselves yes. hard, but we cannot continue like that. And this is where the burnout comes. When we are constantly in a state of fight or flight and we're feeling that stress. And so for me at the time, my baseline, like my resting level was this, you know, um, on edge, high level anxiety, stress, you know, tension, overwhelm. <laughs> oh my that God. was my rest level. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, it's certainly no, no, not no. now. That's not healthy. Anyway. Certainly not now. <laughs> oh my God. That's it. That's it. And it's not, again, it's not sustainable. But that yeah. was the space that I occupied for six years. And so by the time it gets to the end of six years, and so I built a business, it was very successful. I had um, a whole bunch of um, staff underneath me that I was constantly training and working with and, you know, we're bringing in new clients. So on the outside, it looked, I ticked all the boxes for success. Yeah. So my business was successful. I had a wonderful partner. We lived in a beautiful apartment in a great um, location in Sydney, Australia. I mean, I had all the things. I yeah. ticked all the boxes for success, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I was miserable. Oh, I was so miserable. I was empty. I felt hollow. I was just burnt out burnt out i lost my passion for what i yes, was doing yes i lost my motivation i had no energy i was uh you know drinking way too much like you know having a glass uh, a night um of wine is one thing but when you're having like a bottle or you know having a few too many vodkas at night just so i could sleep oh right? wow. just so i could sleep like it was really you're intense. Literally drinking really yourself to sleep but i well yeah yeah oh, wow. yeah and at this point i was 27 i was only 27 and it's still it too was, young for that kind um, of life <laughs> i know it's i like know that. isn't it crazy yeah but it creeps up and i think this is where a lot of people uh you know it kind of creeps up on us so sometimes it's really hard to not see or we say oh i'm just gonna stay up late just this one night yeah. Or I'm just going to do this thing, just, just this, just, and, and you keep pushing your, your limits or your boundaries yeah. of what is healthy and what yeah. is acceptable. And so again, from year zero, when I started to the sixth year, you're like, oh my God, where did this come from? I didn't even recognize the person that I was. And most importantly, like I said, my passion, I mean, I loved what I did and I fully believed in my message and my mission and, and what we were delivering to our clients. But even that, that had burnt out. 
Yeah, you know, yeah, to the point yeah. I was like, I don't even care. You know, what difference am I making? We're not doing anything. You know, it was just, it was a really dark space. It was yeah, a really I can, dark I can space. imagine that. 